Hello everybody, I wanted to drop you another DST dedicated server guide today. And this one deals with the Island Adventures mod. Now, Island Adventures is a reimagining of Don't Starve Shipwrecked. And if you start a game with the mod enabled, it'll create a world with all the shipwrecked islands and a connected map of the volcano. However, with dedicated servers, you can unlock the full experience of this mod by creating a world containing the DST overworld and caves that you can connect to the shipwrecked islands and volcano by making a seaworthy. And the great news is most of the config files have already been provided by the mod team. So in this guide, I'm gonna take you step by step through setting up a four shard Island Adventures dedicated server using Steam Command. Now I'm gonna assume you are starting from scratch and have never made a dedicated server before. But that said, it is going to help you immensely if you've already gone through the process of building one. So if you haven't watched my guide on creating a dedicated server for DST, I'd recommend watching it first. But if you don't feel like it, that's fine. I will take you step by step in this guide. Okay, first thing we're going to want to do is install Steam Command. I'm putting the link in the description. You basically just go to download Steam Command and uh, yeah download it for Windows. And you're going to want to put the executable file into a folder where you're going to install Steam Command. I just created a folder on my D drive called Steam Command and unzipped the exe into this file. So we are going to double click to run the executable file now. And after a few minutes, all the Steam Command files should be automatically installed to that folder. And you should see it because now there'll be a bunch more folders and files in, uh, yeah, wherever you ran Steam Command. Okay, now the Steam Command is installed we are going to want to install the DST dedicated server files to this folder. So the first thing we got to do is log in to Steam as anonymous. And once we're logged in, we're going to run this command, which is going to install DST dedicated server onto uh, your Steam command folder. So this should take a couple of minutes. Okay, the app has been fully installed. At this point, we can quit out of the Steam command app. And we should also verify that all of the files have been installed. So if you go to, let me see if I can remember, it is Steam apps, common, don't start together dedicated server. All of the files for the dedicated server should be in here. And go ahead and keep this folder open because we're going to be bringing some other files in in a moment. All right, the next thing we want to do is download the template files for Island Adventures dedicated server. Now, on the Island Adventures Discord, if you go to dedicated server help, there is a pinned comment here, happens to have some of my guides, but also a link to the four shard template files uh, I will also provide this link directly in the description of the video. Cool, we're going to download all these Dropbox files into a zip file. And you can put it in wherever you want. I'm just going to put it on my desktop for now. I changed my mind. I decided to put it into my folder with all of my other DST save files. Now, the first thing we want to do is copy one file called Dedicated Server Mod Setup. We are going to move that over to the folder that we just kept open inside of Steam Command with all the DST dedicated server files. And in there, there's a folder called Mods. We're going to delete the dedicated server mod setup that's there, and we are going to bring this one over to it. Now, in the template files, you have two options of uh, world templates to use. The IA Force Master template will start you off in DST, and then you have to build a Seaworthy to get over to Shipwrecked. If you use the IA Island Master template, I believe that starts you off on the island world, like the island world is the primary shard, and then you can use a Seaworthy to get over to the DST map. So I'm gonna go with the Forest Master template for this example. So if you open this up, there's a folder called Cluster IA. We're going to copy this and bring it out to our folder with all of our saves. Now let's open up Cluster IA, and in here there should be a file called cluster.ini. We're going to edit this file. Okay, there are a couple of lines that we need to edit in here. Max players, you want to set that. You want to set a cluster password. You want to set a name for your server. Description. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so save this and close it. And now we need to generate a cluster token for this server. The easiest way to do that is in DST. Hit the uh, tilde to open up the console. We're gonna type the net gen. Oh, I already messed this up. The net generate cluster token. I've done this so many times, I should know better. That is going to create a new cluster token file in your save folder. So what you can do is copy that and bring it straight into here. And there's already one here. We're gonna delete it 
and paste the new one. So now the server has a cluster token. Okay, at this point, all of the server files have been installed and configured. So what we need to do now is create the startup script for the server. I'm going to start from the quick start guide in uh, on the Clay forums, but and we're just gonna make a couple of modifications to it. I'm also gonna share the paste bin of the, the script that I end up making. So if you don't wanna manually edit this, then don't worry about it. I'm just showing you how I made it. So I'm gonna copy the contents of uh, start DST servers bat for a default server. And what we're gonna do, which folder is, it? is this one? Okay, so we're gonna make a file Start, start from text file, call it start IA servers.bat. Yes, change the extension. And now we're going to edit it. We're gonna start from the code that we just pasted in and we're going to change a few parameters. First thing I need to do is change my steam command location. Uh, that should be good. Yeah, so that, that's the location of steam command on my computer. Now, these lines, each one of these lines starts up a separate shard. So what we're gonna do is change the cluster name of each of these to cluster underscore IA because that was the name that we gave to our folder containing the Island Adventure server, right? So we're gonna change that on each of these lines. And now we need to add two more lines here because this will start the master and the cave shards in the server, but we also need to start up the island shard and we need to start up the volcano shard. And one little trick I've, I've learned was if you put a name in parentheses, then it gives that name to the window that pops up, which makes it really easy to see which window corresponds with which shard. I'll show you once we start up the servers. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the final look for the script. So we're gonna save it and close. And at this point, we should be able to start up our servers. So we're going to go back to our startup script and we are going to double click to open it. So the first thing that this script does is it updates the DST dedicated server files. That happens every time you start up the dedicated server. And then it's going to open up ideally four windows and you can see we've got the title for each of the shards very conveniently at the top. Island, Volcano, Caves, and Master. I don't usually do this. I'm sharing with you. I just got an error on the Volcano and Island shard that uh, it wasn't able to... It, it didn't see the mod, which is weird, until I realized that my startup script still has validate <laughs> in the command. Guess what it did? It overwrote my dedicated server mod setup file to the default. I really hate this about validate. It's gotten me so many times. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna close all these shards. We are going to remove validate and we're going to recopy the dedicated server mod setup file back over into here. And we are never going to validate these stupid files again. Yeah, the reason you need that dedicated server mod setup file is because it tells the server to install and update the mods before starting up the server. So if we don't install Island Adventures, then we're not going to be able to run an Island Adventures server. Yeah, you see now it's da actually downloading the files. Okay, it looks like everything started up and all the portals have been connected. So let's go into DST and see if we can see our server. Jazzy's IA test. Verify both uh, necessary mods been installed. Awesome. Let's log on. Cool. Looks like I have spawned in on the forest shard. So I am going to just check the portal to shipwrecked by making a seaworthy and traveling through it. Awesome. Now we're in shipwrecked. I think I'm gonna sail over to the volcano just to make sure that uh, that port works as well. All right, here's the volcano. Let's go check it out. Cool. Everything seems to be working. So uh, let's X on out. So at this point, as long as you keep these four windows open and your computer turned on, your friends can connect to your server and uh, yeah, traverse between all four of the shards. When you're done playing or when you want to turn the server off, it, be sure to do the C shutdown command from every window just to ensure that everything, ah, just to ensure that everything shuts down properly. Now, if you want to start from scratch, 
All you gotta do is go into uh, your Island Adventures cluster file. You go into each of the shard folders and you just delete the save file. So the next time you start up the server, it will automatically generate new maps for each of these shards. Yep, so now you can start up a fresh Island Adventures and uh, have fun. I actually believe that that is all to the guide. So I hope you found this information useful if you're trying to run a dedicated server with this mod. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.